Hi, and welcome to this demo. My name is Duncan Epping, and today I will be showing you this really cool new enhancement that we have introduced in vSphere 7.0 and vSend 7.0, in specific for vSphere replication. In my environment, I've already set up vSphere replication, and of course, I also have a virtual machine running called Photon01. And for Photon01, what we actually did is we enabled uh, replication itself. So it's being replicated from this vCenter server into my target vCenter server. Now, if we would go to the site recovery interface, which is the interface or the UI for vSphere replication, you can of course see this virtual machine as being replicated. But that's not what I wanted to show you in this demo. What I actually wanted to show you is the enhancements that we introduced in the UI for the target location. This is the target location. As you can see, we have the vSphere replication uh, appliance already up and running. And of course, data is being uh, replicated to this location. Now, the challenge that the customers typically had was the fact that they weren't able to identify the virtual machines that were associated with particular objects in their environment. And this is a big enhancement that we introduced in 7.0. As you can see, the virtual machine shows up and it also shows all of the different replica disks. And these replica disks are the point in time copies for vSphere replication. On top of that, what we also introduced is a new section in the capacity overview that instantly shows you how much data is being consumed by these replicas. So you can see vSphere replication is consuming at this particular point in time, 2.3 gigabytes worth of capacity. And with that, we reached the end of the demo. Hopefully this was a valuable preview of what is coming soon in vSAN and vSphere 7.0. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.